Hey, so we have an urgent information coming out. Something big is coming tonight. Black Moon Rising. The rare phenomenon occurs today, Saturday, August 23rd, 2025. So we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Do me a favor, share the video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. A black moon will appear in the sky this weekend, but you won't see it. And here's why. Let me just read this part really quick here, guys. In September, there will be a blood moon. September 7 through the 8th, I believe. And 7 billion people will see that blood moon. There are blood, super, and blue moons. And then there's the black moon. The black moon, a rare phenomenon that occurs during, during a new moon phase of the lunar cycle, will occur this weekend. But don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up too much. Scientists say because it will be technically invisible. And here's what to know. It says here, when the moon is nearly between Earth and the sun, one side of the moon faces the sun, and that side is illuminated. But the side the Earth sees is dark. Now, this is called the new moon phase of the lunar cycle, when the moon is invisible at night. All right, guys, uh, before I start, we're going to go with the verse of the day. We're going to start with the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 19. Please share the video. Better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share plunder with the proud. Proverbs 16, verse 19. Please share the video thoughts on today's verse it says here what is your source of significance this proverb challenges us to view the world upside down compared to the rest of our culture it's similar to how jesus taught us to live in the sermon on the mount to not live for the here and now but to live for the kingdom of god here and now because we know our father in heaven sees us and values what we do. Matthew 6, 1, 4, 6, 17, 18. God values humility and our and our willingness to be identified with the lowly and oppressed. Again, similar to how Jesus lived. Abuse of power and arrogance are not pleasing to God. God didn't just give us this proverb. He sent us his son to demonstrate it Philippians 2 5 11 now if we will only choose to live this truth and Jesus challenges us to display it when he says follow me for better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share plunder with the proud here's a prayer Father, I do recognize my weakness and vulnerability to temptation, to the lore of my culture's facades, and to the pressure to be like the popular crowd. Thank you for Jesus. You had power but displays humility. And you had position but identified with the abandoned, forgotten, and rejected. Please use me to be a difference maker in my world by including those who are left out forgotten and this disenfranchised in Jesus name amen for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request you can send it to me Louis Santiago or my wife Jessica Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 share the verse memorize the verse Study the verse, fill your minds with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and that is the word of God. God bless to every single one of you. Happy Saturday. Today is August 23rd. It is approximately 1223 p.m. Eastern Time. And welcome to the Rio to the Grand Supreme News Channel. 
this is your first time hit that like hit that subscribe hit that notification bell i am not a prophet i am not a pastor i consider it to be a watchman uh, i do believe in my lord and savior jesus christ he is the way he is the truth he is the life so the things that happens in the world that's what i talk about is related to bible prophecy jesus warns of nation against nation there will be signs of the heavens so many things that's happening in the world that's related to scriptures these are also the signs of his return and we are definitely seeing uh, all these events that's written in luke matthew john is written throughout the entire bible so if you haven't repented now is the time to repent believe accept jesus as lord and savior and receive the gift of the holy spirit all right let's see what's going on here during this phase the illuminated side of the moon is not only facing away from earth but it is also up in the sky during the daytime and rises and sets at the same time as the sun according to nasa now the moon is gravi gravi uh, gravitationally locked with earth meaning we always see the same side of the moon from earth it's unclear when it was coined but black moon is an unofficial astronomical term a new moon is considered by some to be a black moon one of two ways it can happen when a new moon appears twice in one month new moons usually happen once per month or when there are four new moons in one season when there are four new moons in one season the third new moon is called a black moon saturdays today august 23rd black moon is the third new moon of the season summer season the fourth new moon will occur on september the 21st one day before the first official day of the fall season or again an autumnal e equinox in the northern hemisphere when the sun moves directly over the equator creating equal amount of daylight and nighttime these are amazing signs of the heavens now god created god created the sun and the moon in verse 14 chapter 1 now in the very beginning verse 1 god said what well, it says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth and god said let there be light and the light that god was refer uh, well referring to was not the sun it was not the moon it was not even a star it was the the elements and i do believe that the light also referred to jesus also being there Remember when God said, let us create man in our image. Let us. All right. So I do believe that at the very beginning, Jesus was also there along with the Father, the creation of all things. Let us make man in our image. So in verse 14, God said that he created two light, two light, one to govern the day which is the greater light, the sun, one, uh, and the other one to govern the night, which is the lesser light, the moon. And God said, let them be for signs and seasons. And that's what we are seeing. We are seeing the signs and seasons of this amazing black moon and the blood moon that's coming September 7th. We are definitely seeing a lot of these amazing signs saturday's black moon is the third new moon of the summer season the fourth new moon will occur okay i read that part it says here you won't see it no okay so since the illuminated part of the moon will be facing away from earth and the moon rises and sets with the sun the moon will not be visible in a night sky however this is a great opportunity to stargaze and see the Dumbbell Nebula M27, known for its dumbbell-like shape, which can be seen with a telescope between the altar and the Neb stars, according to NASA. So when is the next black moon? Well, the next black moon is said to occur August 31st, 2027, according to Space.com. That moon will be the second new moon phase in one calendar month amazing amazing
there it's excuse me there are blood super and blue moons and then there's the black moon the black moon a rare phenomenon that occurs a new moon phase of the lunar cycle will occur this weekend but don't get your hopes up too much scientists say because it will be technically invisible all right so give me a second here this is called the new moon phase of the lunar cycle when the moon isn't visible at night and during this phase the illuminated side of the moon is not only facing away from earth but it is also up in the sky during the daytime and rise and set at the same time as the sun according to NASA it's unclear what is coined but black moon is an unofficial astronomical term so give me a second here so you won't see it you won't be able to see the black moon but it will still be there in the sky so it's it's gonna be there but you won't be able to see it that's so amazing it's gonna be in the sky but you won't see it it just playing peekaboo <laughs> oh, so something big is coming tonight it's just it's it's gonna be there but you won't see it all right so you won't be able to see the black moon but it's still it will still be there in the sky that's amazing since the illuminated part of the moon will be facing away from earth the moon will appear to be invisible in the night sky however this is a great opportunity to stargaze and see the dumbbell nebula m27 so we already know that the next blood moon will be august 31st 2027 so give me a second here guys give me one second i want to see what they're talking about about the uh What's the name of it? Oh, this one here, the dumbbell. Let me go on X with it, Craig. Hmm. So this is what people's going to see if you have a telescope. Give me a second here, guys. I'm going to have to pull this information up really quick. Give me one second. Give me one second. There we go. So M27, the dumbbell nebula. So the moon will be black. And it will be invisible. But people will be able to see this with a telescope? Hmm. This also happened back in 2019. This was back in 2019. One of the brightest planetary... Uh, Nibuli in the sky, it can even be seen with binoculars. Are you serious? Wow. Talk about the signs of the heavens. But this is what people are going to see tonight if you have a good telescope. This was posted August 20th, the Dumbbell Nebula. Now let's see the black moon really quick. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the black moon. The black moon of August 23rd, that's tonight, is a cosmic reset.
The question is, would this cause some kind of earthquake? A gravitational pull shift? Hold on, someone just, I just mentioned about earthquake and someone just posted this. Give me a second here. Whoops. I'm sorry, give me a second here, guys. So, update August 23rd. The mega quakes the black moon has done and one more time the powers of heaven will be shaken Lorraine's point again the stabilized anti clones weaknesses of Azos and Santa Ana weaknesses all right so I'm not gonna get too deep into this type of stuff here but uh, there's a possibility like I said um, perhaps a gravitational pull shift who knows just keep your eyes open, uh, guys. Uh, again, sometimes these uh, these moon events could cause a gravitational pull shift. Um, so also, um, solar flares and stuff like that uh, causes like blackouts, GPS interference, satellite interference. So sometimes the signs of the heavens does cause some shifting, high tides, low tides, and uh, we just got to keep an eye on that. But this is all the information here, guys. I will leave the comment, I mean, the stuff in the description box. It's going to be a black moon tonight, but it will be invisible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.